Motors. Today I'm starting the project to weather this freight car for the Down and Dirty Weathering Contest 2. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I was doing a little research to see what would look good on, on a dark colored car. So I took an old Southern Pacific caboose and, and did some some testing on it to see what I liked and I discovered a couple of things so we'll be working on that and then from another project I worked on rusting some wheels or making the wheels look rusty and the trucks look rusty I'm still in the process of trying to find enough pictures on the internet to know exactly what I want to do with this but we're going to give it a shot today and see what we can come up with so to start with let me get my little tray out here and I think we're just going to give the side of the car a little bit of a wash with with a gray paint and we'll see how that turns out sorry for reaching across the camera there that's just plain water there This is just some old acrylic paint that I that I have had for years. So don't want it on here too thick so I'm just going to kind of work it across and spread it out what it's doing is it's settling kind of in the in the seams between the ribs and but every once in a while you'll get an area like this where it, it just beads up you know, they're, Maybe I should have washed the car a little bit better. Let's see. I think I want a little bit more of a dusty color down here. Um, sides here and it's a little thick I think I'm going to Stop and take the trucks off here. Okay, I've done some more work here. I I uh, added some weathering to the roof here. Uh, a little bit heavier around the hatches, but lighter on top of the hatches. And I'm still working out some of the the excess on top. Uh, just kind of diluting it down with a wet brush to just show some some dirt on there and kind of working it into the to the walkways try to get an even color on the walkways 
have to let this sit and and sink into the to the grid work. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more of the heavy weathering right along the edge here. And switch brushes here. an old brush here, just big old flared out paintbrush and I may have to stop and go get a different brush. Okay, so get my this is a smaller, finer brush. much better. Let's see if I can work it up underneath the deck here, under the walkways. Trying to get a real thin wash to go over all these bars on the end and on the ladders because as it dries it it fades down a little bit. heavier there. Kind of using the Bob Ross approach here, you know, a little happy dust. How how's that happy dust on here? Um, we'll uh, we'll try it, and if it doesn't look right, we'll we'll get it off, and we'll we'll try again. Um, turn this around. Oops, something fell off here. Um, we'll put that over there with the trucks. Um, I've added a little bit of weathering here. Right gear here. Try to get this area back here. A little bit more in the way here. So and let's just you know, 
wash this down a little bit. Again, on the bottom here, I'm going to go a little bit heavier, a little bit more dust and dirt build up from, from the road, then on the sides. You know, tone it down a little bit as we go here. my paint down a little bit and we'll go over the sides here with the original first coat on here taking some of the color from down below where I wanted a little bit thinner work this in color is kind of beating up as I go here, but I think that'll be okay. I'll just keep working it in until I get it looking the way I want it to. Make sure I go over the, the hand, the ladders and the handrails. This is my first attempt at weathering a car. Um, a lot of the the videos and, and efforts that I've seen from other people on weathering, I sometimes feel that they they apply too much um, from what I I see of pictures of of actual cars. I don't see that much weathering on them. Um, now some of the older cars do show a little bit more rust, but on a on a brown car like this, I don't see the rust showing up as much as it does on say a gray covered hopper. So I'm just trying to get a little bit of a of a a dirty color here. Switch back to my smaller brush. Again, I want to go a little bit heavier. It's wicking up the sides of my my hatch covers. So 
I'll have to come back and work on those a little bit. Trying to get some of the, what I feel is excess off of here. And then we're just going to let it sit and drain down before we go to the next step. Okay, I'm going to work on the trucks a little bit here. i got some, some rust colored paint. It's going to go over each wheel. Don't want to lose that. <laughs> 